What did you say the name of this was? False Hellebore. False Hellebore. Hellebore. That's going to be our band name. <laughs> Hellebore. Hellebores. <laughs> Hey guys, saying it's alive. We're doing a little ramp foraging. We're meeting up with Chrissy up in Western Connecticut. Before we head back to my house in coastal Connecticut, meeting up with Sam. We're making some pizza with the ramps that we find. Beautiful day. Anyone makes a sundress that might look nice on me. I think you would look great. Anytime you need me to keep um, plowing forward, but just tell me. <laughs> yeah. what, uh, what are we actually doing today? What's the thing we're supposed to do? Hey guys, Sam, it's alive. <laughs> no. Hey guys, Sam, it's alive. We're here in beautiful Connecticut once again with the lovely Chrissy. Yes. And today we're going to be looking for some wild edibles, a, 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 a local native uh, seasonal. Yes. The ramp. We're going to be doing a little ramp foraging. Chrissy got a good lead on a spot. Like ramps, although delicious and awesome, you see them in in farmers markets. They take a long time to reproduce. Seven years. And, yeah, seven years. And you know, it's just, you have to have respect when you do find some. You can't just get excited and take them all. But first we gotta find them, right? We gotta find them. I'm following you. All right, let's go. Where, where are you going? I'm just checking down here real quick. Yeah, this looks like a real good spot. It's really random. Real good spot, Kevin. But I think... Uh, get good vibes here. Turkey vultures. <laughs> Savage. <A> little detour. <laughs> little grass false alarm, bud. <laughs> That's what you're looking for, Kevin. It's just a real nice, big, healthy, big, green, dark patch. That one turned out to be grass, but it's the name of the game, bud. I swear it's we're getting work, close. It's late work, Kev. Car! Oh my goodness! Get the camera! What? No way! He found a morel. I'm sorry, this is a really big deal. These are morel mushrooms. Everyone I find is like, oh my god, it's a miracle. Oh, I bet you they're everywhere. Yeah, now I'm... I bet you this is and everyone's having a hard time finding them. This is so exciting. You keep an eye out for ramps. I'll, I'll keep the hot eye for the. You for have the a good eye for them. I say we get off, get off the beaten off trail. trail a little bit. Yeah. The way I learned to look for ramps was to look by where there's water, where sandy shores meet nutrient dense canopied forests. It's a beautiful sentence. There we go. Ramps. So the, let's take a hike. Kev, we're in the green, bud. All right, we found <laughs> some ramps. We're in the green. All right, let's go. Let's go check them out. Oh, they're all over. They're the place all over. Up. They're popping up. This is what you're looking for, right? This is a good size ramp. These yeah. something's been nibbling on oh, these, right? Yeah. Everyone wants to eat them, but this size patch. I mean, for me, I don't need to harvest or pick from this patch. No. It's too small. Let it repopulate. You know, let it really start to when it starts to become the size of like here when, when you this like, fills up yeah then you can come in and you know and, and and do a little you know a little bit of picking my kind of rule of thumb when you can look around in a 360 degree and like for 40 feet in every direction see ramps there's ramps you could pick then you, then you can pick some mm -hmm. i just want to keep looking like you, you <laughs> almost like just want to find like the biggest ramp patch you know here's a nice healthy one it is so yeah, we just want to clear it off and just kind of see the whole plant, you know? Uh, and when you do go picking them, don't just be going in like a, like a big claw and just start grabbing things, you know? Like, even though these things are rather resilient and point, of the you know, point being, there's a nice way to you know, harvest these. If you're going to pull or cut a leaf off, I kind of like to do it right, right where it starts to split, like yes. a little bit above, right? This is a nice mature one, right? Kind of mm -hmm. that, you know, late in the season of it. Here, Chrissy. Right there? Yeah. All right, I'll do it your way. A little bit of an angle there. Yeah, that's there beautiful. Go. Going in a, at a little bit of an angle because that's the way Brad Leone does it. <laughs> <laughs> and here we go. Right or wrong? <laughs> oh my God. I, I oh, my God. oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. You're me! <laughs> that was terrifying. I'm good on that. Well, come on, dude. What'd you think I was? A rock? <laughs> Classic ramp. I mean, they don't. Yeah. They always, whether the stem's red or white, mm -hmm. just that big kind of dark green, broad, broad leaf. peppery leaf. I yep. mean, there's a few things that look like it, mm -hmm. but if you're ever in doubt, just kind of crumble up a, a leaf in your fingers, and you'll smell it. I love the greens. You know, yeah. it has, you feel like you're eating. This is gonna sound stupid. It feels very like a green. You know, yeah. but it's like a mixture of like a mustard green and a scallion and a garlic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like I was saying, we finally found a patch where. When you look around, they're kind of, they're everywhere, you know, yeah. where, where I start to feel comfortable being able to, you know, think about trying to, to take, to harvest some. And this, these look like a nice mature 
That looks like a size. mature patch. It's yeah. such a beautiful plant. I like to snip them. What? You, 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 right you about the, like right, 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 right by the white. Right yeah. where it starts to turn. Exactly. Light. I'll like cut on an angle right or there. straight. Don't matter. It doesn't matter. Oh, it smells so good. So like with some plants, right? Like if you're just taking leaves like that, you yeah. know, like, leave one, right? Leave one. Yeah. And then move on. Like you don't just take one from each of this whole. You know, exactly. move, just move around, especially if you have some real estate here and there's a lot of plants. Just break it up so you're not just stressing a whole area. Exactly. It's such a beautiful. It really is. And it's only in the spring. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I threw out. It's it's going. I mean, I think you can get them. They find them out in the you know in the Midwest and into mm -hmm. maybe even parts of Canada. But I do believe they are indigenous to the Northeast they of are. North America. Yep. <laughs> oh my God. Mm. I could eat handfuls of them. I love that. They are a little bit hard on the stomach, but they're they're, oh, they're, de they're delicious. You eat about, you know, 15 leaves. Tomorrow you have no problem going to the bathroom. <laughs> it's just, I mean, I'm it telling is you, what it is. It's good for you. All right, Chris, so Chrissy, thank you again for sharing the spot with me. It's such a yeah, beautiful area of course. And, uh, and a beautiful day. We found some morels. We got a pretty healthy haul of the ramps we need for what we're doing. I never mm -hmm. really, I just pick what I'm going to be using for like the yeah. next two days, right? And uh, I got a little, little wood-fired pizza oven going, and uh, my friend Sam's gonna meet us. I got some doughs all set up. Yes. I say we just go cook. Let's go, let's go cook. We'll make we... some pizzas. Yeah, kind of a perfect day. All right, guys, we're back in my house. Chrissy joined me. Yes. Woo. And the lovely <laughs> Sam as well. We're gonna have a little pizza party. We got our ramps and some other ingredients. We got a little bread oven going that I fixed up over the weekend, and uh, it's just working out really well. So uh, let's make some pizzas, guys. Yeah. Well, guys, yes, yeah, so we got our dough. I made a nice little sourdough. I know, you, Chrissy, you said you did too. And, and Sam, you're joining us from Connecticut. You grew up in Connecticut, right? I grew up in Connecticut. I did. But now I live in Brooklyn. Oh, cool. But I'm happy to be back. Yeah, here. beautiful day. I'm glad you can make it. <laughs> Me too. Um, we can only fit one or two at a time because it's kind of like a old one of them old. 1750s uh, beehive. That's so ovens. cool. Yeah, it's so cool. I can't wait to show I'm you guys. I'm excited to see. I've that. had the fire going for like a day and a half. I wanted to get all the stones nice and hot. Just don't walk away because it um, it, it will just like a pizza oven. It, yeah, it's yeah. hot then. It's probably five. Five hundred. Yeah, that's. Four, yeah, it's only enough. a couple minutes. Four sixty-three. Right? Okay, cool. <laughs> the only one rule at this pizza party is that you got to put ramps on it. So that Do I you made. blanch them before you put them on pizza, or you just put them straight? You don't have to. No. No. I've never blanched a ramp in my life. Oh. <laughs> As seen in uh, previous footage where Brad was chomping. <laughs> I don't. I've never actually had one just like out of the ground. Oh, you should. Try it no time? better time than now, Go ahead Sam. And try it. Yeah. <laughs> mm, it's sweet. Yes. It's very nice. It's sweeter than I thought I'd, it would be. It's in that onion, garlicky. Leaky. It's very familiar. Leaky. leaky. That's exactly. They're all in the same family. Mm -hmm. I'm right, gonna have I the think. worst breath in the whole world. Yeah, me too. I eat raw oh. garlic. I, the first thing I had this morning was raw ram. So let's get close. You're in the club. Man. <laughs> so who wants to go first? Who wants to shape it? Because we can only fit one at a time. Or all I'll right. go. I don't care. All right, I'll go. I'll break Do the it. ice. I like to um, stretch, stretch it a little bit, but then I like to go in with my little. Oh, French oh no, style. no, no! You don't like the French rolly? On your pizza? Yeah. I, don't I do it, but. I mean, I, I like perfection. I mean, you sometimes. worked at a pizzeria. Yes, we definitely. Did we you definitely, use a rolling pin in a pizzeria? We did. Okay, then. We did. But no one in Italy is rolling their pizza, are oh, they? Probably not. Maybe. We're not in Italy. I'm not Italian, baby. I'm Jamaican. Because <laughs> <laughs> you roll whatever you want, right? I always build it on the peel. I know that's like really? pizza no-no. Yeah, because then it gets all, you might get wrinkled and whatnot. Like getting yeah, it on? No, I, don't, I don't do that. I, you build it on the peel? Yeah, I do yeah. too. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, nah, guys. That's not my All right, well, style. then you could put it well, on the peel. I'll put it on the peel. That scares me. I've screwed mm, up so many. Good. So this is some ramp pesto I made. Ooh, I used some nutritional yeast, red pepper flakes, about 24 blanched ramps. That was just kind of mellow it out a little. Little arugula, so it cuts it a little bit. That's nice. Ramps are still the main flavor. main flavor here. And olive oil, pine nuts that were toasted. Ooh. These are sun gold tomatoes, actually. And there's some chunks of garlic, and lots of olive oil in there. Oh, ramps. And Duh. I'm just gonna <laughs> do a little torn. Like, do a little torn like... ramps, like basil almost, yeah. you know? Just get it in there. And it, unlike basil, it does, it cooks well. It does. Look how pretty that yeah. is. I am so nervous how long that's sitting there. 
And like, <laughs> I'd be so scared to put that on the. You know, you're funny. You no, know, no, you're right. You're the. You're you're doing it the Screw correct. Do way. it. I have a hundred percent faith in you. I have actually, honestly, never seen anyone build a, a pie on the peel. Yeah, because it's, it's incorrect. It's for wimps. Yeah. It's, it's definitely <laughs> incorrect. You're totally gonna do it. You are set up. Oh come on. Da, 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 da. <laughs> nice you. work. Okay, here, here, you want to take this? No, no, it's your oh. pie, man. Pie's going in. Follow me. This yeah. thing's as tall as I am. Oh yeah. To be honest. This is my hunt, my my beehive oven that I've been fixing up. And it's working out. Wow. Now, now if you can't see, because your eyes are probably screwed up from the That's being sure outside. That's exactly what happened. So look, I place it kind of right there. <gasps> right Careful, there. right in that center. Yeah, do your thing. You got this, pizza lady. Ooh, that was kind of perfect. That's just the way the cookie crumbles. Oh, get in there, Kev. Oh, come on. <laughs> we see any spotting underneath? Not yet, so mm -hmm. it's got to stay. If you move it too quick, you can screw it up, screws right? Screws up, yeah. And it gets hot, like, obviously, like, by that. Move it, move it into the back one. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Let's get it in that back corner. Yeah, it's getting there. Look at Moving you, right at home. Look at that thing. Yeah, easy five, six minutes. Yeah, give it a minute. If you're looking, it ain't cooking, Chrissy. I'm... Oh, you want the peel? Oh, you got it. Got it even on the mini one. Beautiful. I like that. I like that. Here we go. Here we that go. That looks amazing. Right? About six minutes. Right Five, six it. minutes. It's so six bubbly. Here we go. I'm so scared. Oh wait, what? are you gonna do it? You're gonna do it. On the peel, I'm gonna do it. You're gonna do it on the peel? No, so I'm gonna try it her way, the right you're way. You're gonna leave me. It's time to step up, Brad. <laughs> so I have this nice morel mushroom that Chrissy and I found. You're more than welcome to you, Sam. <laughs> I'm gonna slice a little bit up. So I mean, that's one of the beauties of, of foraging is that you know, we're out there looking for ramps and before we found any, you know, we just pulled over. I saw one uh, beautiful morel. He found a morel. I'm sorry, this is a really big deal. Oh, and then me and Chrissy, we were, it's like it's like a finding a present. It's very, you get very excited. At least I do. A beautiful oh one too, right? Wow. One of my favorite mushrooms. Yeah. Okay, cool. That works. That's great. And then I'm gonna do a little parm and some some olive oil. Do we have any olive oil? I'm using Chrissy's. Oh, tomato oil. Yeah, tomato oil. Yeah, it's really that good. sounds good. That's that stuff. Right? What are you putting on there? Ramps and morels, dude. There's my I have the you northeast pie and olives, green olives. I'm gonna do some lemon and some ricotta. Get over. Here. Ooh, the lemon's flying away. Everything, it's so weedy. <laughs> oh yeah, get yeah, that parm in there. Dollars waiting on dimes here, I gotta go. You, got, like, you just ready? gotta swoop it you on. You gotta go. Ah, there you go. You gotta strike with confidence, for sure. That's it. Let me throw that, uh, one more morel in. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going. Do it. <laughs> Kevin! That looks pretty, sir. I mean, just Hey, mom! That's it. Oh, it worked! Oh, did you see that? Farted ash on my pizza. All right, Kev. Don't let me go anywhere. Tell Sam we need a minute. Wait, what flavors would be good together? Is there parm? There is. Oh, sweet. Cheese. Pepper. So I used some of Chrissy's delicious tomato oil on the bottom, and then I put some whole milk, fresh mozzarella, some ricotta cheese that I added a little lemon zest to, the Calabrian chili, the ramps, and some parm. There you go, <laughs> beautiful. Water. No prob. Yeah, I think like right, kind of anywhere it'll fit. And then just, but it, like, it try to get it semi-close so that we can get it to set up a little. Cool, that was great. All right, let's close it, let it bake. I think we're in a safe spot. And like, this is gonna sound weird, like really weird, but I kind of like wish I was wearing your dress. <laughs> Why? It just looks so comfortable, it's my really, God. I have, I have like five of them because- I've said this for really years. I'm, I'm think, I think I'm just gonna start wearing sundresses. It's time, it's 2021. Mine's done, I'm gonna bring it out. Okay. And then I'll come back with the peel. Okay. Sam, I'll you're in charge. All right, pizza coming up, babe. All right. <laughs> right here, babe. <laughs> Look at that thing, huh? Uh, you even got, oh, you, you like that. perfect timing. Here, I'll put, I'll, let me put mine over there, too. Look at me. Look at, yes, Pizza King. 
<laughs> yeah. Looks like pizza. This is a slice joint. Seven ninety five a slice. Two slices minimum. <laughs> nice, nice work. A little pizza machine. That's it. <laughs> little pizza machine. That's a good little nickname. Pizza. That is definitely her new nickname, pizza machine. <laughs> Some cherry tomato blobs on yeah, there. Yeah, that was huge. Good. Mm. Big move with the cherry tomatoes. Oh, I like that about you. Did a little homework before. Roasted them. I let's like that. Let's taste them. Let's taste it. Shall we? Okay. I'm, right. I mean, not to be weird. I'm gonna try mine first. I yeah, guess. no, that makes perfect sense. I don't want <laughs> yours. Mmm, it's good. I'm not even lying mm -hmm. for TV. I don't believe you anymore. <laughs> the ramps actually mellowed out further during the cooking process. And they just balanced out really, really nicely with the sweetness of the roasted cherry tomatoes. A little ricotta bomb. She did not. Oh, that's a tomato. Or is that all Calabria? It was chili. Oh, it's all chili. Mm -hmm. Yours under the cheese did like magical things because the fat, it kind of like poached in fat on top of bread. <laughs> <laughs> and I put fat on the bottom. I mean, yeah, I yeah. just want all, I want all the dairy yeah, all the well, time. Well, bread kind of wants it, right? Mm -hmm. Cool. They're very unique. I love them. They're the best. Ramps. <laughs> Hug them. Well, Sam and Chrissy, thank you guys for coming up and, and cooking with me and going foraging with me, uh, you know, and learning with me, and then being able to share our, you know, our knowledge a little bit about ramps and cooking with folks, you know, especially something like ramps where it is, it's such a fun, awesome seasonal ingredient, really? but it needs to be respected. Wherever you are, just do a little research about how the population of whatever you're looking for is in that area. Absolutely. Follow the rules and regulations, do a little homework, and then enjoy! <laughs> and make pizza in nature with your friends. Bon appetit. <laughs> all right, get out of my house. Literally all right? Yeah, have that be the first word. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> all, right so, all right, so we're hearing, I can't do that. <clears throat> all right. All right. Okay, that's how you, all right. All right, so we're, <clears throat> sorry, sorry, everyone. <laughs>